Hey everyone, let's go over classroom expectations. As we enter the classroom, we're going to want to make it engaged. So everybody stay engaged, me included, from bell to bell and participate. Um, respect everyone's learning time. There's some of us that like a quiet room. All of us can handle a little bit of music. So we're going to just be aware of, of not um, interrupting or disrupting anyone's style of learning and promoting everybody to be successful in the class. Lastly, we work from bell to bell. All that we've just talked about, participating, engaging, and respecting everybody's learning time, that's from bell to bell. Um, that's me included. So to be successful in here, uh, let's do three things. Pay attention, participate, and practice. I talked to a man who's in the military. He retired. He had a second career. He's very successful. And he said, you know, Mrs. Meredith, there are three things that I see that are common denominators for people to be successful. And he's been around the world and saw, pay attention. If people participate and practice in school, they're going to be successful. So I uh, encourage you to do that. Now, what do we bring to class? Please, Bring your Chromebook every class period. Make sure that it's charged and ready to go. I would suggest having a place at your home where it, it goes every time and just put it, uh, for example, on your counter in your kitchen so that it's always plugged in and then in the morning, grab it, put it in your backpack, ready to go. So a Chromebook charged and ready to go. Bring something to write with and some paper. We'll provide some note sheets, um, but not always. You, you might want to do additional notes or here's a big thing is, is a folder or a binder to keep all your notes in so that you can be ready for the class and for your assessments. Um, no cell phones um, in class, just turn them off, put them away. Um, if we see that you are using the cell phone at a wrong time or inappropriately, we'll uh, ask you to put it away. Or we'll, we have a place that we will take care of it and secure it. We call it the cell phone daycare for the period. So please, no cell phones. Um, let's participate, engage, and not be distracted. Please, please bring your positive attitudes, me included. Um, that is important to be able to say, yes, I can do this. I'm not going to be afraid of math. I can do this with you all. And we're, we're on this journey together, and I'm here to help you. Um, calculators are important. For those of you that are in geometry, I would suggest a TI-30XS. $20 calculator, please make sure it's scientific. You're going to see the sign, the cosine, and the tangent button. Those of you that are in statistics, I'm going to ask that you bring a TI-84. Um, that's a brand that's going to be very helpful in this class. Um, so there is one online, and we'll talk about that as well. Um, our syllabus. You have a link to the syllabus in your Schoology course. Take a look at it, show it to your parents so that they can see what this class is all about and how you're graded. It tells you about the 80-20 and it tells you about um, where to get extra help and your um, requirements in the Modern Classroom Project. So um, question, why, why are we doing math at all? Um, I thought this was clever and it, uh, cute. There is a, a $15,000 question in the a game called the Great Pyramid or something. So this was a question. Which of these square numbers also happens to be the sum of two smaller square numbers? What have you won? Hmm, which one is it? A, B, C, or D? Well, if you said, like this young man, uh, he unfortunately got it wrong, it was B, 25, because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Huh, so 25 is the sum the addition of two perfect squares, three squared, and four squared. Nine plus 16 is five squared, which equals 25. So just a little tidbit for you. So uh, also, did you know that math help will help you? It's, these are five facts that it secures satisfying jobs. It exercises the brain. It helps problem solving. It helps you understand the world around you, and it's a universal language. So math is very useful. It's very universal. It um, will help you to learn 
how to learn, if anything else. Um, so let's work hard and have fun. We want you to do that. We're glad you're part of our class and um, so excited to get started. Take care.